Randall Pinkston is in Clarence Center, New York tonight with that part of the story. Good evening, Randall. Good evening, Kelly. As the investigation into the crash of 3407 continues, residents of this close-knit community just outside Buffalo sought strength and solace. We are part of one larger family that today we are feeling that together. On the first Whatever Sunday after tragedy landed sin, in their town, the residents the of Clarence Center turned to religion for comfort and guidance. Whatever. Some families in our church that have been forever changed by this event in very direct ways. At least two families at Eastern Hills Wesleyan Church were touched by the tragedy. Relatives of 24-year-old Elise Kausner, a law school student coming home on winter break, and 53-year-old Brad Green, who worked at Kraft Foods. In the grieving process, where would you say the church is at this point? I still think we're still numb and we can't really believe it's happened, uh, but I think the healing process is going to take quite a while. Um, but knowing that we can rely on each other and come here together for support is the beginning of that process. The crash scene covers a relatively small area of the town, but the impact is widespread. Please, Delbert and uh, Vicki Blackketter live nearby. We live on a flight pattern that the planes fly over to, and 30 seconds more it could have been in our backyard. Today about 300 residents came to a crisis information meeting designed to help people cope with the tragedy. Officials warned everyone, especially parents, to be on the lookout for signs of unusual stress. My kids are very upset. My daughter was very close friends with the girl whose house was hit. And my, my son, uh, one of his friends that he grew up with, was on the plane coming home from college. So, yeah, it affects all of us. As ministers urged the faithful to cling closely to their beliefs, there was also some practical advice. One of the things I carry out of this is I never know, you never know, from day to day, from moment to moment, what will happen. Say I love you once in a while. Don't just part ways. Tomorrow, this church, Eastern Hills, will host a memorial service for the victims and their families. One small step in the long, difficult road towards healing. Kelly? Randall Pinkston reporting from Clarence Center, New York tonight. Randall, thanks so much.